hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to do a horror role play with the help of this newly released Gemma the writer or restless quill 10 billion model in uncensored format so make sure that you are over 18 and you know what you are doing this is all for educational purposes and i will be making sure that what i show you is not something out of uh, blue which is going to startle you so this model is quite interesting this is a Gemma 2 model merge of the on top of the four storytelling writing model as noted in various benchmarks shared on this model card this model is a fine tune of Gemma 2 model which is quite a good model and the interesting bit is that Gemma 2 is quite responsible quite censored but highly performant as it has been released by google but the pros and creativity of the model Gemma 2 is quite good because it is based on the same engine as Google's Gemini models and the same technology and the same research too. So that is why the Gemma 2 models are quite good. And what this person has done, it has fine tuned these Gemma 2 models, uh, these restless quill model from the Gemma 2 while removing some of the layers, inserting some of the layer and the play is quite good now i'm also very impressed by the name restless quill a restless quill i think symbolizing a writer's active and wandering imagination constantly seeking new ideas and inspiration now one very interesting bit about this decensored model is that the way it has been sort of decensored and remember that whenever a model is decensored, then it means that one or more layers in the model or neural network have been changed to stop the censoring process. The problem is that whenever this decensoring happens, it damages the model in multiple places, including instruction falling. And that is why you see that in most of the decensored models, the problem is the quality is not that good. And even when you very tightly specify the model prompt the model doesn't perform as you want it to be so that is why i believe that this restless quill what they have done they have decensored this model in the final layer of the model way past the point where the regular modeling models programming is done so that it retains the creativity the quality of the Gemma to model itself so they are trying to preserve the model function while they are also trying to keep it decensored. The downside is that the language used in the prompt must be more subtle and less direct. Otherwise, model is going to catch it at the lower or early layers in the model and then it won't be as censored as you would like it to be. And that is the very reason when I am, whenever I am doing the videos on these uncensored models, um, sometimes you complain in complain in the comments that despite of the fact that you're asking it to do something very uncensored and model is not complying this is the reason so make sure that whenever you are trying to use these models for whatever use cases and i'm not going to ask you try to be subtle try to be creative try to be intelligent don't put very very direct words if you know what i mean in the prompt otherwise model is going to catch it in the early layers okay so that's that's it and now let's uh, try to get this model installed and we will play around with it to see how much uh, creative and uncensored it is so it's basically geared, geared towards uh, more horror and graphic details as you can see the warning on the models card and i will drop the link there so i will keep it in that direction before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out the tools which i'm going to use for this role play is silly tavern as a front end and uba booga's text generation web ui as a back end if you don't know what these two are please go to my channel just search with this uba booga or silly tavern and watch this first video which says install silly tavern with uba booga and run local models with character roleplay 
If you have never heard of these two tools, then after watching this video, you should be able to install them locally and you will be able to do the role play. And I'm assuring you, you will be opened up to a whole new world of addictiveness. So do watch them, but it could be addictive and that might not be as healthy for your social life as you would like it to be anyway. So watch this and you should be able to run them. I already have them installed and running here. So this is the text generation web UI or Ubabuga and we need to download the model first. So go to the hugging face page of this model, grab this repo name. As you can see, I just copied it, come to ubabuga and paste this here i'm in the model tab of this ubabuga and it is running on my local host at port 7860 but we don't want the full model we just want a ggf format now depending upon your gpu card um, whatever gpu card you have then download the quant or ggf file accordingly go to files and you will see there are a lot of quantizations available from very small to high i would suggest at least go with q5km or higher that will be good so i'm just going to go with maybe this q8 as i have 48 gb of vram courtesy mass compute so click on this file and from there just grab this whole full file name go back to text generation web ui and paste it here so for a single file you just need to get the whole repo and the file name if you just want one file uh, from the without any gduf just or just put the repo name and keep this blank and if you remove this from here it is going to download all of the quants anyway so i just want this quant and then click on download it is going to download it here and as you can see that i already have downloaded it so just click on refresh and it will select the model for you here on the top left click on load it is loading the model as you can see on the bottom right Let's wait for it to get downloaded and it has successfully loaded the model onto my GPU. Once that's done, uh, let me also quickly show you my GPU consumption after loading the model. So I'm just going to show you here. So it is consuming just around 29 gig of VRAM. Not that bad for a 10 billion model with Q8. Okay, so once that's done, you can either chat with it here. I already have done it, but I'm going to go to Silly Tavern. In Silly Tavern, first step is you just load the model like this. I already have loaded the model. And as I said, if you want to know how to do that, please check out my this video. Once that's done, you can select a model, um, model to role play. So I'm just going to go with Serafina, which is a default character of Silly Tavern. And for myself, I have just created a persona by clicking on the second last tab. And I'm just giving it a name, Jason, who is a 46 year old single man from Sydney. Um, doesn't relate to me by the way, but just I gave it a <clears throat> name here and some, or you could just of course do whatever you like here. And then you can start chatting with the model. So maybe I will just give it a simple prompt to start with. And by the way, Serafina is also a bit of a horror character which comes by default and you can see Serafina's detail here. Okay, so I have made it a bit bigger. Let's try to chat with it. So the role which I'm playing and the setting I'm, uh, do, I'm doing is that I was a sole surviving crew member in this spaceship which has just crashed in this forest on your planet. I am trying to send a final message back to Earth before the ship's power runs out. Can you help me, please? So I am asking this from Serafina. So let's see. Serafina is a guardian of this forest. And then she is talking about herself, which you can read through. But I am um, just giving her a role. So let's see what Serafina says. Let's wait for it to, her to come back. And now look at Serafina's responses. She, Serafina's bro furrows with a flicker of concern, her amber gaze earnest as she considers your plight, the fragmented whisper of the crash and a lone surviving reaching out touch upon a deep seated and so it is quite a thick language by the way. A most un and then she is saying a most unusual circumstance you find yourself in, weary traveler Serafina murmurs, her voice laced with 
that's your funder but you look at the pros and the creativity and how quickly the model is adopting that role and and these are the words of model which the seraphina's character has adopted and then she's saying saying lay your device here and together we shall weave a whisper across the world so and you can just talk with her can you please talk in simple english and help me sending message back to earth as i don't want to stay here let's see what she says and there you go so she's saying of course very traveler forgive the flowery language these old ways sometimes linger seraphina kneels beside the pedestal her touch stirring up pale emerald glow upon its surface lay your communication device this beacon of yours upon the heart would conduit it should help send a stronger signal like a whisper riding a magical wind i can't promise it'll reach across the stars as easily as your ship could but the forest holds echoes of ancient power perhaps together we can weave your message far enough and then it is just saying that it needs to be brief carried on a sliver of concentrated energy but we'll make it carry okay then jason is saying okay we have sent it and now we have to wait what should we do until then now if you really um, could imagine you could just take this conversation anywhere and model will comply model will show its own creativity so i'm just going to pause it here and wait for the model response because as i said it is an uncensored one it could say anything and look at the response seraphina rises offering a calming smile that lessens the worry etched upon your face the emerald glow of the conduit softly recedes as its work is done wow rest now very soul much energy was poured into the transmission and then she's talking about it and then seraphina ushers you towards a plush woven moss bed nestled near the heart of her glade sunlight dappling through the leaves amazing amazing stuff and then i am saying wow i have slept like a child and now i am all fresh no response yet from earth what should we do now and then she is saying seraphina rests a hand upon your shoulder her touch a soft pulse of emerald warmth how good is that and then she is talking about some shimmering pool of water in a glade's heart and let us tend the earthly matters first microbe yields and sustenance of course i mean it's so thick language but you can tell her to be easy and then she will keep talking and you can just take it anywhere you like and you can ask it can we hunt here and can you please just talk in simple words and then she can keep responding to you and you can keep playing with the words here but i think that uh, let's move it towards a bit of a horror stuff and if you go through this hunting and then this is she saying that this clay is a heaven not a larder for the taking and then she just talking about some of the other stuff which is quite good really very very enjoyable to read and then i'm asking her tell me the most horror event of your life let's wait and while she is coming up with the response look at this last sentence like a tense silence settles as seraphina draws upon a well spring older than your world tension rising like a hand uh, like a held breath in the heart of the emerald and there you go look at this seraphina lingers a moment longer the willow's light pulsing in rhythm with her breaths a flicker of pain shadows those amber depths and then if you read through it oh my god this is quite good innocence devoted not in a battle but in oh my okay i'm not even reading it so this is quite good letting out a slow breath that weaves through rustling leaves this is really really amazing look i'm not going to um, you know keep talking with her because i think it could go on and on and on but you see that this is such a good thing and just to give you a bonus point here you can get lot of characters like thousands of them online for comfy ui whatever your taste is and you can simply download them and then play around with them and you can watch this video to learn more about those and i'm sure you will enjoy it 
Okay, and before I leave you, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page, it is resilient, it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.